Hey, Gangsta Chewbacca, how's it going? Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas from the east side. It ain't Christmas time no more. Get that out of here. There you go. Put your gangster hat on so you can be all gangster. What are we talking about today, dog? Well, we're going to talk about Dixie Cups. I always drink my Chardonnay from a Dixie Cup. Yeah. We're going to look at the Return of the Jedi Dixie Cup collection. Shouldn't you start with the Star Wars Dixie Cups? Well, I was going to start with Star Wars, but it seems like I always start with Star Wars, and then I don't do follow-up videos, and we never see Empire or Return of the Jedi stuff. So, we're going to look at Return of the Jedi Dixie Cups, and then, if this video is good and people like it, I'll go back and look at the Empire Strikes Back Dixie Cups, and then I'll look at the Star Wars Cups. That sounds better than smoking an ounce of chronic. I'm glad you agree. Released in 1983 to help promote Return of the Jedi. That movie didn't need no promotion, dog. You're right. It probably didn't need any promotion at all. I mean, who wasn't going to go see Return of the Jedi? If you were a Star Wars fan and you saw Empire Strikes Back, how could you not want to see Return of the Jedi? So now, let's talk about the Dixie Cups. And there's a lot of them we have to go through. Now, before we look at the Dixie Cups themselves, let's look at the boxes. The that they set. I gotta go pick up my baby's mama over at the new Popeye's. So I'm gonna have to bounce out of here. I understand. It is Christmas, and most people have things to do besides talk to a camera. I'm the only one out of the two of us that has a life. I understand. I'll talk with you later, Gangster Chewbacca. Have a good one. Now that Gangster Chewbacca's gone, I can spend more time talking to you guys. Now let's look at the box that the Dixie Cups came in. There's a couple of different ones. Let's start out with the Darth Vader Emperor or the Empire box. And here it is. It's got Darth Vader in the background as a shadow, but on the front of the box is the Royal Guards, Darth Vader, and the Emperor. And you can see the Dixie Cups that you can get inside. These kitchen cups were five ounces. On the back of the box, you got some 80s breakfast, along with a big jug of orange juice to show that you could pour them into your Dixie Cup. Another box release in the Dixie Cup collection was the Ewok box. And if Ewoks of the Empire wasn't to your liking, you could get the Jabba the Hutt Princess Leia box. It was always nice to have something with Princess Leia in her slave girl outfit. And there was one more DC Cup box. This one featured Luke Skywalker, Yoda, and oddly a B-Wing. I guess they wanted to showcase one of the new ships from the film. Now all these boxes we talk about have the same photo on the back of the big glass of orange juice, the 80's breakfast, and the cups to show that you could have them at breakfast time. Now that we've seen the boxes to the Dixie Cup, let's take a look at each cup. we got a lot to go through, so we're going to go in alphabetical order and start with the A's. Let's take a look at the Dixie Cup that shows off one of the best ships in the Star Wars universe, the A-Wing. And here's a drawing of the A-Wing, and on the back of it just says Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Very cool cup, that's if you ask me. On our next cup, we're going to look at Abaragbar. Here he is in the center with some other with two others in the background that look exactly like Admiral Agbar, but just dressed in brown instead of white. And if you turn the cup, you can see him here going over Rebel Plans and sitting in his cool seat. And to start off the bees, we have the B-Wing, right here flying in action with a blue clear sky behind him. Probably my personal favorite from the DC Cup Return of the Jedi collection has to be the Bounty Hunter Cup. As you can see here, you have Boba Fett with Klaatu. And oddly enough, also in the Dixie Cup, is Bosk. I know what you're thinking, Bosk, that's from Empire Strikes Back. But yes, Bosk is even in Return of the Jedi, if you look really close. If you were a kid in the 80s, and you were in a bad mood, the best way to start the day drinking orange juice out of your Dixie Cup was to use a Darth Vader Cup, because to show the world you wasn't in the mood to play around. So here's the Darth Vader Dixie Cup that shows Darth Vader and Royal Guards. But what if you were in a really foul mood? I mean, more than just Darth Vader upset. What if you were an Emperor Palpatine upset? Well, we didn't call him Emperor Palpatine back then. We didn't know he had a name. At least, us who didn't read the novel. But here's the Emperor, or, as the DC Cup says, Galactic Emperor. This cup here features a couple of the aliens seen in the Jabba Palace. Garonian Guard, that big dinosaur-looking thing, and, my personal favorite, Salacious Crumb. Although I call him Salacious B. Crumb, thanks to the Kenner figure. Here the bees drop and we just see he's salacious crumb. And for some reason his nose looks really red. There was also another cup that featured the aliens from the Java Palace. More Gamornian guards. And we have that sexy dancer that has the four breasts. And Squidhead. And I'm glad to see they kept the name Squidhead. A name that Kenner came up with. Another one of my personal favorite from this Dixie collection is Han Solo Frozen. As we all know he's frozen in carbonite. But the cup just says Han Solo Frozen. 
And, spoiler alert, if you turn the cup around to the other side, you'll see that Han Solo becomes unfrozen, and the bounty hunter Bosch is really Princess Leia. There was only one way for Darth Vader or the Emperor to get around in Return of the Jedi. That was to take an Imperial Shuttle. And believe it or not, the Imperial Shuttle got his own Dixie Cup. See? Told you. I don't lie to you. But let's head back to Jabba's Palace. We got more of those crazy aliens in there on a Dixie Cup. We got Jabba the Hutt himself and his sidekick, Biff Fatuna. If you turn the cup around, you'll see Jabaka with the bounty hunter Bosch. One of the few cups that seemed like it's depicting a scene from the film. But if aliens wasn't your thing for Return of the Jedi, then you had to love the Ewoks. And yes, the Ewoks got a Dixie Cup. Can you believe it? I couldn't either. When I found out they had Ewoks on the Dixie Cups, I was more shocked than I'd ever been in my whole entire life. But here on one side of the cup is Wicked W. Warwick. And then I can see there's another Ewok that starts with a K and has three toes, but does anyone really care about his name? And here's Wicked again with R2-D2. Another cup that kind of shows a scene from the movie is... Is this one of Luke Skywalker on the Dixie Cup holding a big bone and fighting the Rancor? And there he is, the Rancor. Whew! Is anything more scarier than a Rancor? Now if you wanted a Luke Skywalker Dixie Cup, but you didn't want to see Luke Skywalker holding his big bone, then you could get the Dixie Cup with Luke Skywalker and, you guessed it, Yoda the Jedi Master. And here, it looks like his head is a, I better not say what his head looks like, but you guys out there know what his head looks like in this picture. Trust me, you know what I'm saying. But let's look at a Han Solo cup. Not a very flattering picture of Han Solo, but here he is. Han Solo with Nick 2. Turn the cup around, you'll see a man with no shirt on standing next to Luke Skywalker. And although it's hard to see in a picture, there's a picture of Lando. And here's what I refer to as the dancing cup from the Return of the Jedi collection. You have Ola, the lady with all those big boobies. And Mole, who doesn't really fit in with the cup, unless Mole was also a sexy dancer. He had a better cup than that. And one of the coolest new characters in Return of the Jedi was Salacious Crumb. And here he is again on a cup, along with Jabba the Hutt, Biff Fatuna, and Rawr, Slave Leia. Whew, a lot of boys discovered their manhood in 1983 when they saw Slave Leia. Although we didn't call her Slave Leia. I don't think I ever heard that term until the mid or late 90s. To us, it was just Princess Leia, Jabba's prisoner maybe, or Prisoner Leia, or most often, Princess Leia in the gold bikini. Again, never heard the word Slave Leia until the 90s. Now let's get back and look at some Dixie Cups. Everyone's favorite two droids are, of course, R2-D2 and C-3PO. And here they are talking to that little doorbell droid thing. And... On the other side of the cup, they're entering Jabba's Palace. One of the boring cups from this collection is probably the DC Cup of the Sail Barge. And by one of the coolest, I think, is the skiff. You have the heroes on the skiff about to jump in to the Sarlacc Pit. One of the coolest bands in Star Wars is, of course, Cy Snoodles, Max Rebo, and Droopy McCool. And guess what? They all three made it onto a DC Cup. Yep, that's right. Cy Snoodles, Max Rebo, Groupie make cool. You don't see any of those CGI Jedi rock craps on this cup. This is pure vintage. The new TIE fighter from the movie was the TIE Interceptor, and yes, it had its own Dixie cup also. And most of us U.S. kids never heard of the name Yak Face unless you bought Dixie cups. So here's Yak Face on a Dixie cup and the return of Salacious Crumb. I think he's on like 20 cups. Why is Salacious Crumb so popular for Dixie cups? The Dixie Cup Corporation must have really loved this character. You can flip it around and see Reese holding a red bull and C-3PO. And that's a look at the Return of the Jedi Dixie Cup collection. Not really sure how many of you out there really care about looking at a Star Wars paper cup collection, but I thought they were pretty cool. Sometimes I like to dig into this vintage stuff that's not action figure related. So it really takes you back looking at this stuff to a time when Star Wars was new. Sure, they were slapping Star Wars on about everything they could, but as a kid, we didn't care. If it had Star Wars on it, we wanted it. Maybe I'm the same way today as I was back then. If it's something I don't care about, you put Star Wars on it, then I might buy it. I want to thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please thumb up and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments section below what you think about the Dixie Cups and if you had them. If you did, which one is your favorite? And even if you didn't, from seeing them here, which one is your favorite? And we'll be back again to talk Star Wars, 80s pop culture, 
old TV shows, old movies, old action figures, unreleased action figures, released action figures. You never know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to talk about it. So come back, check out another video, and I'll be back very, 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 okay, that's too many berries, very soon. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.